first tonight, Ernest Thompson has spent part of every summer of his life on Great Pond in the Belgrade Lakes in central Maine. The setting and memories inspired him when he was only in his 20s to write On Golden Pond, first as a play, then as a movie. On Golden Pond has been staged countless times in 30 different languages and 40 different countries, including two runs on Broadway. But until now, Ernest Thompson, who is also an actor, has never appeared in the play in its lead role. Rob Caldwell sat down with him at the Winnipesaukee Playhouse. I have seen um, probably scores of productions of On Golden Pond. I've directed it three or four times. Uh, two, at least two Academy Award winners have played the part I'm now playing, Henry Fonda in the movie, Christopher Plummer in a live television version that I directed, and some really amazing actors in 30 languages on six continents, but I've never seen the guy play the way I wrote him. And I've thought about that for a long time. And I thought, this is it. What have you not seen in all those performances that you hope to capture in this one? Well, this will sound ridiculously and un ungratefully critical, and it's not meant to be. I'm not giving back the Oscar that Henry Fonda helped me win, but um, for instance, Rob, Norman Thayer Jr. was a college professor at an Ivy League school for 40 years. That meant that he stood in front of classrooms and regaled students with extraordinary stories. That requires a certain panache of a character. And so that's not what Henry Fonda brought to it. Henry Fonda was a guy from Nebraska. Uh, nothing wrong with his performance, but Norman Thayer is a showman. He's larger than life. So I'm looking to capture that and also the intellectual side of the guy. On Golden Pond tells the story of Norman Fair and his wife Ethel at their summer home where Norman grapples with a body and mind that are both failing. I got the end of our lane. I couldn't remember where the old town road was. It always is striking to me that you were, whatever, 27, 28 years old when you started writing and you wanted to write about old age and mortality which is not what's on the mind of most 28-year-olds. I think that the human experience is the same for everybody. So can a 28-year-old guy legitimately write about an 80-year-old man? Yes, all I did was take my own life experiences, my fear, my joy, my excitement, my trepidation, and um, graft them on to an older guy. He puts it there because it's in his way and he's gonna get down and start picking up cookies. So he kind of disappears behind the couch. Now, okay. four decades after he wrote the play, Thompson is rehearsing and directing and, for the first time ever, so starring in a production of it. You shouldn't be allowed to carry a dangerous weapon like this. The play is being staged at the Winnipeg Hockey Playhouse, just a few miles from where Thompson lives and where the movie was shot. If I were an actor and someone said, how would you like to be in this production? I would have been exceedingly reluctant because I don't want to be in the play with the guy who wrote it, the guy who's starring in it, and the guy who's directing it. Were they a little intimidated by that? I don't know, I don't think so. And if they had a moment of hesitation, I think they've gotten over it now. I'll tell you how I start every rehearsal. We do exercises together. We get on the floor, we stretch, and, and I get them to close their eyes and imagine things. And uh, you might be interested in this, but <clears throat> on the first day, uh, we all closed our eyes and I said, I want you to imagine someone you've lost. And I said, invite one of those people to come on this journey with us. And I want you to dedicate the performance to that person. Well, as soon as you do that, then we're all equal. And it doesn't matter what my credits are, that I have an Oscar or any of those things, and that I've directed famous people. I'm just a guy coming to work in the morning, rolling up my sleeves, and going, to doing, going through the same process as everybody else. Every actor starting a, a play has to make sure that he or she knows the lines. Do you know every line in this play cold? Can you do it backwards and forwards in your sleep because you wrote it and you've seen it so many times and you've directed it and so forth? No, <laughs> <laughs> but I know a lot of them. Uh, also, Movie fans know a lot of those lines, too. Henry Fonda, in his last film role, won an Academy Award for Best Actor. Katherine Hepburn took the Oscar for Best Actress. And there was a third Oscar nomination for Best Adapted we Screenplay. The winner, the winner is Ernest Thompson for Golden Time. It was the night that changed Ernest Thompson's life forever. I wrote on Golden Pond as a play four years ago, 
for two reasons. First, I was out of work as an actor. And second, because I believe that I had something to say and a burning need to say it. The play was inspired in large part by your experiences as a boy on Great Pond. Great Pond, In correct. the Belgrade Lakes in Maine. You still have a connection. You still, what, go back every summer and do a long distance swim, is that right? I haven't missed a summer in my life. And so far, I've been able to do the swim. Yeah, it was a two-mile swim. I swim from our cove to the next cove. My brother has sort of taken over the house now, but it'll be in our family for the rest of time. My grandparents went there in 1908, and uh, the house they built was burned in a lightning storm in 1958. But all of us keep going back. We're like homing pigeons, and part of it is the tradition was shot on Squam Lake. There's still a debate over whether Golden Pond is actually Squam Lake or whether it's actually the one on Belgrade Lake's Great Pond and Thompson himself will not weigh in on <laughs> They that both debate. probably want to say yeah. that it's them. It's a movie. <laughs> Who doesn't right. want to take ownership?